All right, so in this video, we're going to take a look at rendering subsurface scattering in X-ray and uh, also learn about an important tip that can save you a lot of time. So here I have a scene like this and this object uh, has subsurface scattering. So let's uh, see how we can render it with X-ray. And it is quite easy. Just make sure to use transmission or subsurface in your material and now when I uh, hit bake uh, actually let's first bake this one uh, maybe a high resolution and if I bake this one now it has subsurface scattering so now uh, there are a couple of issues and the first and most important one is probably the light map UV you can see all these uh, weird artifacts in here. So let's take a look at the light map UV. And now instead of having something like this, I'm going to just use uh, a spherical mapping and make sure to rotate it in a way that the UV seam just falls under the object. And just unwrap. And normalize. And now let's try picking it again. And it looks much better. Now we have this noise here, which I can just enable denoiser. And it is going to take care of that. Like this. Now, the thing about subsurface scattering is that uh, for many objects, you don't use base color anymore. So for example, if I use the skin preset, it is probably going to set the weight to zero. And that way, when you look at the uh, just a subsurface map, it is going to look uh, very blurry and very bad. And to fix that, we need to increase the uh, light map resolution. And that is also going to increase the baking time. And for objects like this, it may not be very noticeable, but uh, on heavier scenes and for uh, maybe characters where you want to bake a lot of frames, that can be a little bit uh, time consuming. So to fix that, uh, something you can do is uh, beside the base color, you can just go to the uh, SSS layer and you can find the SSS layer by, by selecting the material and in the node editor, when you look at all the connections, you can see this one, which is the name of your material and ends with SSS layer. And here uh, you have an extra empty layer. And if I enable it, so let's use the same albedo texture and connect it over here. And you can see that it looks uh, very dark right now because of the blending mode. So if I say to something like illuminate, it may look a little bit better. And something else that we can do is instead of connecting the map directly, I can use a ramp. So use a ramp texture and then just connect the texture to the UV cord. So connect the alpha and make sure alpha is uh, luminance and then let's connect this one to the to this layer and now by uh, modifying this ramp we can control the area of the details that we want and also their intensity so if we don't want it to be very dark we can just set it to a color like this and this is pretty much it uh, so you can use lower uh, SSS resolution and you still get all the details so I can go down to 64 right now and if I rebake you see that we still uh, get to see all the details of the surface and also have the subsurface scatter and I also used the same thing uh, for this one to add some details to this model so if I disable this layer you can see that all those details uh, are gone 
and I just used the marble texture and assigned it uh, to this model to add this uh, Wayne-like uh, effect. And for characters, you can also do the same thing. So here the character should look something like this. The edge of the lip should be very sharp and there are some sort of circles on the face. Uh, but we don't get that with the current uh, SSS resolution. And right now it is uh, set to 512, which is uh, quite a lot for light map and subsurface. But since it's the full body, uh, that resolution is uh, not really that high. So here again, we can uh, use the same technique. Just find the SSS layer right here. You can also uh, access this layer by going to material, going one step back into the surface material and in canvasing. Here is the SSS layer. And then you can just add it to node editor. And here I'm going to, again, uh, use a ramp. And use the base color as the UV cord. And this time I'm going to connect this to alpha. And connect the base color to color. And we can just set it maybe to darken. And now by modifying this. Get the effect that we want. You can also test different blending modes. And maybe this one works better. Yeah, something like that.